more talk around wellness design in our personal spaces and the impact it has on our mental health, which is so key. So we're going to break down some of the elements that promote a healing home. Please welcome back Karen Seely, designer Yay! Karen Seely. It's been so long. And I've been seeing you through the monitor. Hi, Karen. Hi, Tracy. It's so yeah. good to have you back. So let's talk a little bit about um, how the right design can really help us balance our lot, like live more balanced lives at home. Absolutely. We certainly noticed that with COVID. Yes. Because we spend so much time at home and how our home impacts our mental health. Mm -hmm. And so when we get it right, it reduces stress and anxiety yeah. and it brings on a sense of calm. We can be more productive. It increases our serotonin, that feel good, you know, chemical. And just overall, we just feel better. Right. And so all these things are really important for us. So good. So yeah. important. And then, of course, it's important to encourage self-care. Self yes. So, you know, whether that's meditating or reading. We love our screen time, but we all need time away from that screen. Yes. What does that look like for you and your family? So it's important to think about how we set up our homes to encourage that. Mm -hmm. And then sense of order. Yes. Everything needs a home, or how can we put it away? Right. Right? Yeah, so absolutely. So clutter, and clutter we know is not good for us. Yeah. So let's make sure we have a home for everything. And then let's make it feel personal. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. It should feel like your home, your family's home. So there's a sense of belonging in a good space. Sort of like Christian Dare's bathroom. Yes. It feels like <laughs> him, okay? It sure does. Let's have a look at a space Karen designed for her clients where many of these wellness principles were put into play. As interior designers, our job has always been to make clients' homes beautiful and functional. But nowadays, we're talking a lot about wellness design. That's things like adding lots of natural light to a space. So we ripped out that odd little box bay window and put in this huge window. It gave us an opportunity to add some color, some plants, and obviously natural airflow. The color palette in this kitchen is a lot warmer and softer. We did integrated appliances because metallics of appliances can sometimes be a bit demanding. The warm quartz countertops, the whole palette is softer. We did a little bit of open storage because with busy families, we know it can be a little daunting to stage these. So just a little bit to break up all of the wood. Then we did tons of storage. All of our homeowners want lots of storage, right? From recycling to spices to utensils to a big pantry wall, which we broke up with redid glass so it didn't look too heavy and woody. But one of the best features is our double appliance garage. There's no clutter in this kitchen. It works fantastically. One of the great additions to this kitchen is this island. It allows for lots of people to gather around and help out. And of course, I have to point out what I love is these curves. When you have your boxy interiors, it's nice to add some soft organic lines. So we have the curved countertop, we have the curved fluted leg. The fluting is reminiscent also of our glass in our pantry. The hood is also that beautiful curved line. And now we can actually encourage our guests to sit at this end of the island, which is much closer to our banquette. And I love banquettes. I've been doing them since the beginning of my career as I grew up as a sailor. Extra storage for all the kids' stuff or seldom used kitchen things. And this fabric is writer's block. It means that the kids can take marker and pen to this and it cleans off no problem. The color palette before was gray and white and dated and not very welcoming. But now with our nature inspired palette, it's approachable, it's warm, it's a perfect place for gathering with friends and family. Gorgeous space. We're gonna go through some other elements of wellness design and we're gonna get the audience, you all have paddles, to weigh in on these ideas, okay? It's gonna be a true or false. Here's your first one, true or false. Getting rid of clutter eliminates 25% of housework in the average home. Getting rid of clutter gets true, rid true, of 25% of housework. I'm oh. gonna say true. They all say true, except for one false. False. Ah! I know, it was a trick question, I'm sorry. It started off tough on the first one. Okay, it's 40%. It? It's, it's 40%. 40 it does get rid of your housework. You're, you're, on, on, you're on the right track. Okay. Yes. Well, the average North American spends 12 days a year looking for things in their home. That's so. definitely happened in my house. <laughs> and I know where everything is, but you need to give me a second to figure it out. <laughs> okay, so days. that's, uh, we need to yep. be better. True or false, here's another one. Research has shown that pleasing aesthetics can trigger a dopamine release associated with pleasure. 
Absolutely for me. Oh, look at our smart audience. Most of you say truth. That's okay. Truth, you're false. Truth, That's, you're allowed truth. to be your own person. Well, I did right a tricky wrong. one. I did a tricky one on the first one. So now they're hedging their bets. But yeah. true. It's true. Yes. Make your space feel amazing. Like yes. when I do this for clients, they always say to me, oh my gosh, Karen, why did we wait so long? People wait to move. Yeah. They get it staged and they yeah. don't want to move anymore. Exactly. So beautiful. Okay, how about this one? Lighting, acoustics, and air quality can dramatically impact your overall well-being. Lighting, acoustics, and air quality can dramatically impact your overall well-being. I'm going for true on this. There's a big true in the true. air over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, it's true. It and is true. When they do studies of employees in the workplace, those are the top three things people say will make them happiest at work. Yeah. We often think it's about pay, but people want to feel good where they work. Yes. So don't overlook those those items at home either. You're not thriving under fluorescence. No. Okay. Or, so. Or if it's stinky. Or if right? it's stinky Ooh. or bad yeah. air, you want to open windows. <laughs> True or false, everyone, cleaning products, furnishings, carpeting, and some candles can create what experts call an unhealthy home. Yes. Yeah, you think so? <laughs> You've got a false up there. Oh, it's false. Oh, true, true, true. She switched it. Okay, lots of trues. Are we right or are we yeah, wrong? It's true. It's true. So the World Health Organization estimates that in-home pollution yeah. can contribute to 3.2 million deaths a year. Oh my goodness. So a good tip for you. A lot of people don't necessarily want to spend the extra money on green products. Yeah. But if you're doing a whole new renovation and you're moving in, just leave all that stuff in the home for a week, open the windows and don't move in. Let it off gas, oh, then move in. Oh, this is a good tip, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna continue our house tour with Karen and have a look at the principal bedroom. Most people think you should design your primary bedroom before you design your ensuite. But in our case, we fell in love with this gorgeous stone and it set the palette for the entire space. The bathroom before was drab, builder issue, really boring and needed to be updated. But the good news, all the fixtures were in the right place. So we started by putting in a beautiful freestanding tub and swapping out the old window for a beautiful sliding glass door. This is a great tip for wellness, more connection to nature. It allows us lots of natural light. Also the door opens, so you can get some fresh air and enjoy the vista of the forest. The bathroom before didn't have very much useful storage, so we had to add a linen tower, but we also wanted to maintain the symmetry of the space. So here's a little trick. This goes back much further than it looks like. We've recessed it into the wall. It's a custom design piece with beautiful arches to soften this very boxy space. We've recreated that arch over our vanity. And if you'll notice, this very soft organic line is also in our backsplash tile. The color palette is soft and romantic. And don't forget the details. Look at these beautiful Art Deco inspired cup poles in their ombre effect. Works perfectly. Our homeowner loves pink. The whole room was a wash in pink. The bed was on the wall opposite the backyard, squeezing in two side tables and looking out to a backyard through a small window. So instead, we decided to center the bed under the vaulted ceiling. We left a few of the pot lights to help accent our artwork. We added a gorgeous new pendant with beautiful shadows and it allowed us to make use of this space to have a seating area with a beautiful custom made coffee table, which is also the extra stone from our ensuite, a beautiful gas fireplace, and we put in this huge wall of sliding glass doors so our clients can enjoy that connection to nature and in our next phase of our renovation, a walkout through screened in sunroom. <laughs>